Hey, excuse me! Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Hey! Don't run from it! We spent a lot of time in our videos talking about how much fun the hobby is, but here at Tail Heavy Productions, we prefer to show instead of tell. Wow, I got that one perfect, Julian. It looked just like all your other landings today. So Ben went out with Ian and Julian and captured what an average day at the field is like for the three of them, primarily focusing around flying the Motion RC, Free Wing AL-37, uh, cough, cough, 737 MAX. You've never seen stuff like this before! <laughs> I have been flying RC for nearly 10 years now, but I've never flown an EDF. So this is that. Oh, Yeah! <laughs> You know what I realized? What's up? I have no idea where my gear switch is. Oh. And my gear lever is like broken. Alright, this is my first EDF landing. Hopefully. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, they're taking a selfie. On our runway. That's cute. While the maiden went well, Ben was ready to try something new. So for some context, I challenged Ben to try some high alphas with the AL-37 because back when I still lived in Seattle and had one, it was one of my favorite things to do with the plane. So I'm full up elevator right now, just correcting with rudder, and it's pretty stable, so I, th I, I think we should bring it lower. Not to, uh, you know, armchair pilot or anything, but in the future, I told Ben he'd have better luck if he wasn't playing the throttle like a fiddle. By now, Julian had his AL-37 all set for the main, so he took the plane out to the runway and got ready to take off. Take off, left or right? Whoa! <laughs> We're going for speed! He even got comfortable enough with it to do some scale aerobatics. Alright, we we'll drop the gear, we'll try and break. Full flaps, stable. Whoa! That was a beautiful three point, good sir. Now, Ian wanted to turn at the sticks, so Ben passed the transmitter off to him so he could give his impressions of the plane. And, uh, it's an airplane because it has wheels. And, uh, has windows. And wheels. Oh, by the way, there's this issue where if you pull back on the elevator, it'll stall. Okay. Would you like to simulate a MCAS failure? Okay. Yeah, so what do you think of the, the AL-37? It's actually better than I thought. Yeah, it's a pretty good plane, dude. Yeah. After he killed the pack on Ben's plane, he tried doing some high alphas with Julian's AL-37 as well. Then he picked up his own transmitter because it was time for a quick E-Flight Rare Bear Maiden. You hear that echo like two seconds later? <laughs> so far, it was an uneventful day at the field. Obviously, there's only so much you can do with an airliner alone, so the boys decided it was time for a little short landing competition. The rules were simple. It's really just that the mains must touch after the cones for a landing to count. Julian went first, and, well, it's safe to say it did not count. Oh! Ben timed his approach poorly, so he ended up going yeah. around. <laughs> he also managed to place with two of his landings, if you want to call the last one that. Uh, 
Time for Julian's remaining turns. Yeah, that was pretty good, but... Oh, not too bad. We'll try it again. Ooh. Unfortunately, all of them were short, so it looks like Ben somehow won this one with whatever this is. MCAS issue? You decide. Next up, the boys wanted to try some formation. We'll be honest, it was sloppy, so we'll keep it short, but either way, they had fun giving it a try. And finally, to wrap up the day before the sunset, they all passed a transmitter and did some experimentation with an old club trainer on its last legs. First they tried some touch and goes without a nose wheel, then some rudder touches. Oh, that's my airplane. If you've enjoyed this informal day at the field, let us know. We're thinking about making it a series. Yeah! <laughs> and of course, we have to say it, if you haven't subscribed already, we'd really appreciate it if you considered it. We'll see you next week with a new upload. Happy landings and bounce went on for us.